Hi all, in this particular video, we are going to build a tool using Hugging Face Pipeline. So one of the key functionalities or one of the key advantages of Hugging Face Pipeline is that you can build applications, generative AI applications using large language models in just a few lines of code. You would see just using three lines of code, we build this application in the Hugging Face Pipeline and using streamlit in order to create this interface okay so let me type in an input here data hat is a data science and generative ai learning platform what this application does is it will convert this text into speech It will take a few seconds to run and this is running on my local server okay i'll show you the code and in this video we'll walk through the hugging face pipeline some of the key things that we need to discuss and know about okay just uh, it, it's running it's taking a little while so meanwhile let's head over to the hugging face documentation and see what are the things to know there okay just give me a second yeah yeah, so basically Hugging Face pipelines make it easy and simple to use any open source models or in open source or even proprietary models from the Hugging Face Hub API. Okay, using Hugging Face Hub API or the models that are available in the Hugging Face Hub, we can make use of the pipeline in order to build applications for generative AI tasks. Okay, even multimodal speech, computer vision. So even if you don't have a very detailed knowledge of how generative AI works or how generative AI, uh, the programming logic of generative AI and the models using Hugging Face, then this particular two video is going to be very helpful for you from the perspective of using the already existing models for making an inference. Okay, so we are using a Hugging Face pipeline for inference. We can specify a specific tokenizer or model. We already discussed about tokenizers and models when in a separate video that we when we discussed about building generative AI solutions using Hugging Face. I'll attach the link in the description as well as in the i link above. Make sure to watch after this video. Now the usage pipeline uses while well, each task has an associated pipeline. It is simpler to use the general pipeline abstraction, which all which contains all the task specific pipelines. So basically, there are multiple pipelines that are built using the base pipeline class or base pipeline. Uh, module of hugging face however in this video we are going to use a base pipeline because it allows us to you apply a diverse set of applications or fulfill a diverse set of tasks so it's as simple as we are importing the pipeline from transformers library and we call the pipeline and specify the task name so see so it's as simple as specifying the task name directly i'll show you what are the available task names currently within the pipeline and what we can use okay and so even if we haven't specified the model, we haven't specified the tokenizer, this by default uses a particular model, a particular tokenizer corresponding to it and builds a pipeline. And inferencing using this pipeline is as simple as calling this pipeline object and passing our corresponding input. So here the required input was a flag file. So therefore they pass the path of this flag file. Otherwise, whatever the desired input is, you just pass it here and you get the result directly. Let me head over to the notebook here. Okay, so uh, I'll connect this to a T4 GPU on Google Colab. And just give me a second here. So we'll install the Transformers library using pip. Then we import this pipeline object, a uh, pipeline module from the transformers library. And next what we do is working with pipeline for NLP tasks. And then we'll see what are some of the key parameters for these pipelines. So for example, here we created a text classification pipeline used by passing the task name as text classification. Let me show you using the dict object. So when you call this pipeline dot dict underscore underscore dict, it will help you understand what is the default model. So for example, here for text classification, we have a distilled bird for sequence classification as our base model. By default, it is a two class classification model, which you can see, let me show you from the output layer. Yeah, okay. Yeah, see, 
So the classifier that is there on top of this distilled BERT model has an out features of two. So this is a binary classification model. If you want other classification models, you can very well specify, which we'll see in a while here, okay? So we just passed an input here. Data Hat is a great data science learning platform. And this particular uh, model will be used to classify a particular text as positive or negative. So it has a very high positive score, which is good, fair enough, okay? Now, at times, we also need to load larger models, right? We need to load a compute heavy model. So for that, we need GPU. On this particular pipeline, we can also specify the device as a parameter, which will help us selecting between a CPU or a GPU. However, keep a note that GPU device must be available, okay? So here we are using Sam Loi Roberta based Go Emotions model. This is basically used to uh, predict various emotions from the input text. Let me head over to this model and I'll show you something. Hugging face models, Roberta em emotions, yeah. Sam Loi based Go Emotions. This is also a text classification model but it has typically 28 labels, right? The first example we saw had only two labels, that was binary classification. This is a multi-class classification, a multi-label classification. Just for an example, uh, I wanted to refer you to this, okay? So we are loading this model on GPU and loading it on GPU at times helps, right? Uh, because the model it might be compute intensive and you might to run certain various batches. So that can be very useful at times, right? It, now, uh, in order to understand what are the list of available tasks within the pipeline currently, if you go head over to the Hugging Face uh, Hub, right, Hugging Face Model section, what are some of the tasks that are supported by the Hugging Face directly is multimodal tasks such as feature extraction, text to video, all these tasks that you see here are currently supported by Hugging Face. But at the same time, the pipeline currently uh, only deals with a limited number of tasks. It does not deal with all the tasks that you see there. So, so what are the tasks that are available currently with the pipeline? Audio classification, automatic speech recognition, conversational depth estimation, fill mask, right? Zero sort object detection, text to audio. So these tasks are currently available with the pipeline. So making it very easy, right? One of the key things I want to highlight here is this pipeline module is available in Transformers version 4 and above, okay? In earlier Transformer versions, this pipeline module was not available. So just, just wanted to highlight the fact there. Now, uh, if we want to run the inference on batches of input, like often for development purposes or de when deploying, we would not at times run the model for just one input instance. Rather, we would have a, a multiple inputs that are coming together in batches. So for that, we'll just load a sample data set. We load the data sets library, we import data sets. We are loading the automatic speech recognition model and the model name is Facebook Wav2Vec to, Wav to Vec Base 960H. Device is CUDA and the batch size we specify is four. So the parameters that we discussed so far is the model parameter wherein we specified a specific model. The tokenizer will be chosen automatically from the Hugging Face Hub for the corresponding model. We learned about the device parameter. We learned about the batch size. So three, these are the three, three key parameters within the pipeline. There are additional parameters and you can head over to the pipeline section and look for other parameters. But these are the three key parameters that you need to know, okay? We are currently loading a superb ASR model. Right, we will sample or subset this model. Uh, okay, we are going to take a small subset of just five elements here, and we have a batch size of four. So, just to show you the example of batch processing using the pipeline, we saw we already saw the example of running it on device. So, whenever you're running it on a GPU device, it is helpful to run it in batches. Right, even for if even when you have multiple GPUs, right, that would be that would speed up the process at times. Okay, so our sample data set is now loaded, right? And we are just taking a sample of five files here. Let me pass this through the pipeline. It's as simple as we call the file name. We basically pass the inputs that we have, right? This should be a list of inputs. Okay, so the input would be a list or list that is supplied here. And the output would also be in the form of list corresponding to each of the output. So this is as simple, right? V very simple to pass batches of input, very simple to uh, use a device, a specific device, GPU or a CPU, 
or at times if you want to change the model so as simple as that that's absolutely simple enough now next thing that we will look at is our um, like basically the model that we are basically the application that we created uh, text to speech application using the, the pipeline object of hugging face and streamlit so this is now ready i just pass the input this can be any other input data hack is our data science and generative ai learning platform now before we head over to the coding section if you like this particular application and you would be interested in building such applications in the future make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button okay that would help the algorithm to share this video further and help other more people now let us quickly head over to the code section and we'll see how to build this application using very simple and very easy code right you don't have to be much advanced in either transformers in or either hugging face even python right very basics so we just import the transformers like we even don't need to import this library we just need to import the pipeline object from the transformers library and the stream limit object right uh, make sure the transformers version number is four or above we just create a title st.title building generative ai tool this title appears here building generative ai tool we pass some comments okay so whatever this passed in the doc string appears here as comments next we create a subheader converting text to speech this subheader is available here we pass a message text box we create a text box st.text input enter your text here and the value of this text box is nothing okay so currently we are not passing any default value here you can pass a default value so this particular text box is generated here with the message enter your text here and you can pass anything here and it's as simple as creating a pipeline from text to speech specifying the model suno bark and using the device cuda since i have a system wherein i have gpu device with cuda enabled so therefore i'm using it as it is next we i just this pipe when we are printing anything here this won't show in the in this interface rather it would show in the console window if you see let me show you where is the pipe object that's being printed yeah so this is the pipe object that is being printed and we just uh, take the output pipe text and its output and we pass this output again back to the interface using st.audio i'll share this particular uh, code as well with you in the description make sure to check it out build your own tools and make sure to upload them to github and share the link so that with other people so that we know what interesting tools you are building and it will help us discuss and collaborate further right it will help in your learning as well as in helping other people grow and how to run this particular application it's as simple as from your particular terminal uh, or where you have this file just run streamlit run and the file name or the path corresponding path and you'll open a window wherein you can pass your inputs and play with it okay hope you find this video interesting if you like the content make sure to give it a, give it a thumbs up see you in the next lecture have a nice day bye bye jai hind